Imagine playing an FPV game like Minecraft. Well, you use a 2D crosshair to point at a 3D location where your block is placed or where the block is destroyed. How does it all happen? How does it all come to be? Well, I'll answer that question now. So you see, Minecraft passes a line from your in-game eye through your in-game center of vision which is basically your crosshair on your viewport and then it finds the position of the block that you're pointing at using the crosshair. It then either breaks it or places a block on top of it. That seems simple enough, right? Yes, it does seem simple enough because raycasts really are that easy. Today, I'm going to teach you how to implement one in Godot for C Sharp. Let's begin now. We start off by making a Raycast 3D node that's bound to our camera starting point, which is basically, in theory, our player's in-game eye's center position. We then extend the node's reach to about 20 units in the negative Z direction because apparently negative Z is forward in Godot 4. That's weird. We have to open a play script for the next thing. And I'm going to use Visual Studio to open it, okay? You can use whatever. I've opened Visual Studio code. I'm assuming you've opened your code editor of choice. Now, I create a variable Racy of the type Raycast3D. And under the ready function, I pay an instance to the Raycast node that I made earlier, which was bounded to the camera. After doing this, I come to the physics process function. And here, I create the variable call pause, which is basically the collision point at which our ray, the line that we fired, meets the surface or any object. It's basically where the line intersects with another object. It's basically the point where that happens. We now print it. That's it. It's all set and done. I want you to experiment more with this Raycast 3D node because I think instead of me teaching it, if you do it, you'll have a better time learning it. I want you to put your, you know, inventions under the comment section or your findings under the comment section. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Sub for more content. Like to motivate me. Bye.